Today's Advent yarn calendar reveal is red-nosed reindeer. And here are the last three days. Well, here's the last two days. I'm not sure what happened to the other one. I probably put it back in the bag. So the this Advent yarn calendar is from the Homespun House, or a Homespun House. And it is a fade, and so this is the next color in the fade. I am so curious where this thing is going because this is pretty dark. So if it's going to be a pink fade, it's already getting pretty pink. So maybe it's going to go, I don't know, to purple, red. I'm not sure. I'm so excited to see day eight and see what's happening next. So this is day seven. And um, what else did I want to talk to you about today? This cardigan. So this cardigan is from, it's a pattern from uh, Laurel Gervitz via Knit Collage. So Knit Collage, for those of you who don't know, many of you probably do know already, but Knit Collage has very interesting yarns. So this yellow mustardy color one, um, that is, it's called Wildflower Yarn. And it's really, it almost feels like a cotton material, like a print, a cotton print. And it's cut into strips. And then you use those strips as yarn to work into your knitting. So super creative, very fun and playful. Um, the white color is French Vanilla and that yarn is called Spun Cloud. And so you mix these different materials together and it makes a very interesting piece. So that is what's really fun about working on, on knit collage projects. And for this one, I definitely, you know, as you can see in the photo, that is, that sweater that she's wearing, it's, it's a little more fitted. I did make mine a little less fitted. I think I made, I went a size up so I could have a little more room. And then I also increased the length. So it probably should have ended here. But I increased if it was going to be cropped, but I increased the length so it was a little more like a, you know, just a regular jacket. Um, who knows, maybe I'll make it again and make the cropped version because that's really cute too. And the first time I saw it, it was actually Andrea from Fruity Knitting interviewing Amy at a yarn festival. And I just could not get over this cardigan. Like it just looks so dreamy. And so anyway, it's called the Pixelated Cardi. And you can order the pattern and the yarn and everything right from Knit Collage. The pattern is by Laurel Gervitz. And yeah, it's really cool. It starts really, you know, lots and lots of, of these wildflower stitches. And then it introduces the white gradually. So that's pretty cool. The one modification that I did on this one is that I added some crochet buttonhole um, I don't know, I crochet buttonholes, I guess. And I added, I didn't add the hole. I added a little crocheted loop to put this button in. And then I just sort of sewed this button. This is like a horn. It's like a plastic horn button. And I just created this loop on the other side, you know, use the yarn as thread. And then you can just close it like that. So that worked really pretty well. I do want to buy some wood horned buttons instead of these plastic ones, but this is what I had on hand just in a knitting box that I had from my husband's grandma, my grandma. I have two sewing boxes from our grandmas who have both passed away. Do you all have those? Uh, I'm curious if you received you know, sewing boxes from your grandmas who passed on. 
it's kind of a special thing to open up this box and think of all the mending and sewing and I don't know creating that may have happened so anyway I probably found these buttons in one of those boxes so there is that yeah this is check out Knit Collage I mean I think that Knit Collage has workshops they I know there's a spring knit along that always happens and so check it out she's really fun Amy is super fun the one the woman who owns Knit Collage and started it She's super fun. Check out her YouTube videos. Um, I'm not sure what the channel is called. I'll put it in the link below, but I bet it is Knit Collage. <laughs> I can't imagine it's anything else. So a uh, couple other things. You guys, I have fallen in love with this. Utopia hand cream. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it is focusing. Hand cream. It is, it says the best hand cream ever, and it is. It's sheep and lanolin, and this is the orange and clove. It is so good. You can tell it's made with natural, yummy ingredients. I just absolutely love it. So if you're looking, oh. It reminds me of essential oils, the smell. Um, if you're looking for a gift for a knitter or anyone in your life, this is a great gift. I bought four of them for people for Christmas. Well, I bought four and I bought one for me. Do you do that? Do you spend a lot of money on yourself during this time of year? <laughs> because you're buying for other people and you're like, oh, I need that and I need that and that and that. That's what I do. So anyway, that's the first thing. These are kind of gift ideas. The next thing is this and this. I saw this on, actually it was a book podcast. Somebody I follow, check this out. So this is a wick trimmer and then this is a snuffer. So the wick trimmer so you just take any old candle. You know, I like to keep my candles at about a quarter inch high so that the candle burns evenly. Like you can see this one was only lit for a little bit. And then there's like this ring in there. So I like to keep it at a quarter inches tall and then burn the candle until the whole thing is wet on top so that it's, you know, it's even and doesn't get like a hole. <laughs> but anyway, to trim the wick, you just use this little thing. And because of the shape of it, you can really go down into the candle to cut. And so that's what I do when you just cut the wick. And it is just perfect. I don't have my lighter, but if I did, I would light this candle and show you the snuffer. It's really fun. Maybe I'll do that later. But anyway, that's also a really good gift if you're looking, if you have somebody in your life who really loves candles and you want to find them something um, for Christmas, that's a great one. Get them a candle and then get them a candle wick trimming and snuffer kit. It came with one other thing that I have no idea what it's for, so I'm not showing you that. Anyway, I don't know about you, but it's just so nice in the winter to be to have candles and light candles and get cozy. And Arnie and Carlos call it, I think in Norwegian, it's called kuslig or something like that. And that just means cozy. It probably means more than that, but it means cozy. And then it's kind of similar to huga. So if you know about huga, that's that also means to get cozy and yeah. So anyway, I think Arnie and Carlos may have mentioned that on their recent vlogmas. So check that out. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day and thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like, if you feel so inclined. Subscribing doesn't cost anything. It just means you know, you're supporting the channel and um, basically my videos would show up in your left-hand navigation when you log into YouTube. So if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe and you will 
be notified. All right, have a good day. I am uh, off to the Christmas market with my friend tomorrow and I'm so excited. So hopefully I'll have lots of good video footage from St. Paul's Christmas market. It's a European Christmas market. So I hope it's good. I, I think it's been here for 10 years and I've never been. So excited. Bye. <laughs> Treat! Treat!